Hi guys, it's me again. So today we will start the Golang course. Um, maybe in the previous episode you saw some Golang backend for the banking app and some Angular frontend for the banking app. You didn't so see Node.js backend for the banking app, but you will. If you follow our channel, we started some series where we will be building like a banking app backend in Golang and backend in Node.js and frontend in Angular 9 and Tailwind and maybe something else. Uh, we will show you first like vulnerable version. We will show you some damage that we can do by hacking it and some data that we can take. And next we will tell you and show you how you can do this properly and keep it secure. So today we will focus on the first setup of the application, like we will set up the Golang project, we will create some few first modules and next we will do first migration to the PostgreSQL database. Let's start! We need to create like first file main go. We need to name it as the main package and create function main. Next, we need to type go mod in it and name of our application how we would like to have named modules. You can see we have the mode. Now we need to create folder for our helpers and file helpers.go. Here we will name a package as helpers so we will be able to import it later. Here we will import so some package that we need to use. First function that we will create is handle error. We will use it later for handling errors in the application. It means if error is not null, it will start a panic. The next function is hashing and salting our password. We need to pass a password as a byte inside and it will return hashed string. You can take a look how it's done. For that we will use some bcrypt. Means we need to pass a password as byte and cost of the operation will be min cost. Here we will handle error. And if everything is fine, we'll just return our hash. Okay, now we need to create a folder for migrations. And we will need to create file migration.go. As well, we will name the package as migration, so we'll be able to import it later. We will import a few dependencies that we need to use. The most important is that about uh, PostgreSQL. One is GORM and one is a driver for Postgres. Now we will create some interfaces. First it will be interface for user. We need to specify what will be in struct user and 
what would you type for the properties next we will create the interface for the account Now we will create the function connectDB that will return database for us. We will be able to use the connectDB function later in a few cases, so we will not need to create the connection every time. Here, what is important for you, you need to type the correct credentials for database. I use just localhost and some simple Postgres user and default password. You need to remember never use default passwords and always set up your own and never share that credentials with the internet so remember to not push it to the github or something Okay, we have DB now, we need to go forward. Now we will create functions to create two simple accounts. Let's take a look. Let's connect to database. Here we have two mock accounts. Now we create for loop that will iterate through our mocked users and we will be able to create the user, insert into the database and next create the account. Here we started from a generated password so we will use our method hash and salve. Here we will pass just the username, really simple. So our password will be like name of the user. Ah, I forgot about declaration for the variable. We need to add this double dot. That means we will uh, create an insert record inside the user table. And next we need to specify some simple data for the account, for the user, like bank account. The balance we will specify just by multiplying by ID of the user, so we will have like if user second one it will have two times more money than the first one. Did be great as well. Fine, now we can close our database connection. The next function, it will be function to migrate uh, our tables and the properties of tables inside our database. If we have pure database, of course, like clean. 
it's easy we can use those to be able to migrate for the user type and the ACOM type so you can create a lot more tables if you would like now we need to close database as well if we have migrated data, uh, database we can start creating accounts fine now we can uh, import migration inside our main function i have auto import but probably you will need to do it manually or you can install auto import extension to visual studio code here i had a typo inside the ssl mode it should be disabled instead of disabled let's test it it looks like no error let's check it in the beaver yeah we have two tables let's check records records are created so it looks like everything works for now and i think it everything what i wanted to show you today in the next lessons we will go for more features like login or register or transfers congratulations you finished the first lesson, you know how to set up the Golang project, you know how to set up the migration, you know how to the set up database, and now you are able to continue with the next lessons. In the next lessons, we will focus on the login form, on the login mechanism, you will see how to create a REST API and how to handle it, check the password, etc. So, you need to give us thumb up. <laughs> if you like the video, give us thumb up. Comment in the If you like the video, give us thumb up. Subscribe our channel and comment in the let us know in the comments what would you like to do as a next episodes. Uh, you can tell us which features you would like to create and if uh, some of you will want to create nice features we'll create them for you we will show you how to do that and we will build the application together with you so see you in the next video bye